here we are with summertime rendering episode 25 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and with that let's get to the episode okay let's go last episode <laughs> here we go again perfect start is she slapping him again Oh, this must be weird that he knows her name now. <laughs> oh, the eye twitch. This must be shocking. Or uh, that he knows. <clears throat> Seven hundred. Preserve squid. Ugh. What? Doesn't he remember? <coughs> What's going on? <laughs> so he can't remember. But it came still through to him somehow? That she died? From your long trip? So he still remembers somehow, like deja vu, right? But not, he can't remember it fully. <clears throat> it's completely different from the beginning. She's not dead. <clears throat> is this really gonna be the perfect ending with no one dead? Everyone is alive and well? Oh, there she comes. <clears throat> but that means there's really no chance for Mio. Aww. Oh, there's also the old guy. <clears throat> She's hanging out with him? I thought he was always alone. I guess not because his past never happened with the shadows, right? So he's not the reclusive type, I guess is the word. I have to read that later.
I'm getting hungry. Oh, we see Tokyo here. Yeah? Well, I guess not. <laughs> so he has no choice. Either you come or I come and <laughs> get you. So for him it all seemed just like a dream. That's how Ushio changed it, the shadow one. And so this is completely different, as if it never happened. <clears throat> oh, there's her. Which makes me wonder, like, how, why does Nagumo come back? She has no reason if her brother never died, right? What does Ajiro mean? Is this his name? Ajiro Shimpe? <clears throat> the poster again with the firework? The festival? How long has he been gone from this island? Did we know? Like one year, two years? <clears throat> I guess it must it must have been multiple years, right? Because Ushio said at least this year you could come back, I think. And I mean he was way smaller back then, right? So it must have been like many years, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's old now. Wait. This must be his son or something, right? Because the real one died hundreds of 300 years ago. Yeah, this is a bit confusing. He looks very much like him, just older. Does he know where it is, maybe? Can he find it? Oh. <clears throat> That's awesome. Imagine. You're just somewhere in the forest and you hear the waves. Hmm. 
it's like a cool idea living on an island, but I would need good internet. Otherwise, as long as I have internet and stuff, cool. And I have all my necess necessities. The Oh, in a dress? Is this a real Ushio? Or maybe shadow leftovers? <laughs> Seems unlikely to have a white dress on. She had the dream too, or the experience, which feels like a dream. Wow, <laughs> what a coincidence, he finds it, of course he does. Hmm. <clears throat> Is it like, I love you? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, not now, but we will get it, right? That he's like, I love you. Oh yeah, she also doesn't have the burn marks, that's why she has no gloves.
Oh, there are <coughs> his, her childhood friend. Oh, big Ryunosuke. Who's this? Oh. Those eyes, Jesus. Green bluish. Oh, so is he together with her childhood friend? It seems like. That's a mother, maybe? Or maybe just acquainted. <laughs> oh, more ideas for a book. Oh, a picture with everyone. Well, not everyone. Tokiko and Sue are not here. I wonder what happened to his parents. They died because of shadows. So, <clears throat> how did they die now that when they are not around, when we don't see them here? Then I guess they are dead, right? Maybe really a boat accident or something, a normal one, and not a cost one. Hmm, because of Mio? And he... oh... Is she accepting maybe this time for a happy end for everyone? Or will he get denied again? Oh, she's so cute. <laughs>
She's in the writing fever. <laughs> Summertime rendering. Same as Shimpe. Will she, won't she? <laughs> Oh. Did he say it? Oh, I'm home. Okay. <laughs> so no, I love you, okay? I was wrong. <laughs> Dude, she's a mess. Wait, is this one year later? Yeah, one year later. The time skips. Okay. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, complete happy ending. No sadness whatsoever. 300 years are changed. And I would say for 300 years being changed, nothing much has changed, right? I mean, there are th some changes like uh, Nezu, I think was his name, of the old hunter guy. Um, he was like living alone because no one believed in what happened with the shadows and all that stuff 14 years ago. But now that it didn't happen, he is like happier, is around people, his wife is still alive and all this stuff. Um, so that's good. And what is confusing a bit is the priest at the shrine, I just call him Shide, I think his name is Karakiri or something, I don't know. Shide looks like him, just old with a beard, right? So is that the same guy? Because technically he should be dead because he lived 300 years ago. Unless it's an ancestor that just looks like him, maybe? That's one of the confusing parts, I don't know. Um, and I mean, yeah, obviously, Nag Nagumo didn't burn her hands. And... I mean, the reason why she left the island is because her brother died, right, by the shadows. Uh, she didn't have a cause now that 
since it's never happened since he's still alive she didn't have the cause to leave so what i mean it makes sense why she left because a new cause got changed um she writes books and i guess writing books on an island is not the best place right so i guess she went to a bigger city like tokyo i guess and writes books there because publishers and everything is closer by um and so yeah and i rewatched part of the episodes i checked what the phone message said and it was his parents so they are still alive good they didn't die obviously i mean it could have been changed to they died in a different way um so they are still alive and well but they're not around they are still somewhere else um off the island and yeah i mean otherwise everyone is happy everyone is well the beach scene was quite nice and cute and um it's interesting because for Shimpe and for Ushio it all seems like a dream right like a deja vu and a dream and it seems like no one else has that going on right it's just Ushio and Shimpe that have that which I guess makes sense since they both basically did the whole looping thing and no one else really did and then yeah Ryunosuke is alive has a child they called it Heine what could be a better name for a child, right? And I wonder who the mother is. Is it Nagumo's old childhood friend? I mean, they were together, but in during the anime, she had like a different husband, right? Because Ryonosuke was obviously dead. So that could have been another change. And then they have maybe Shiori as a child and Heine, which is interesting because they look so different. And... Yeah, they made this nice group picture which was nice and then we had the festival which went by without any problems obviously and i'm interested because <clears throat> zoo confessed his love to mio again right and normally mio always denied him because i mean she knew that shimpei loves ushio and ushio loves shimpei and she still denied him every time um even knowing that she has no chance. <clears throat> um, but now we don't know. We didn't see her decline. We just saw her say, what do you like about me? That was it. So we don't know. But if she didn't decline that, I don't know how I would feel about it because, like I said, she technically always denied him, even knowing that Shempe has not really feelings for her, but for Ushio changing that so that she could also have a happy end not being hung up on Shimpei and being alone technically in that sense relationship wise right even if that changed it would be kind of manipulative i would say right so if that is the case that she didn't deny i don't know how i would feel about that that seemed because like i said we just saw that she always denied him so that would be a bigger change i would say in personality in that sense um and so yeah then we saw the end with the cake and at first i was wondering why we see that scene because i thought they said that ushio's birthday is next year and then they could uh, party again and because this year is at heine's birthday and next year is at ushio's birthday and so i thought so they just skipped one year that scene feels kind of weird, skipping one year and not showing anything except the cake and Mio making the cake, right? Um, but yeah, I re like I said, I rewatched the episode and I missed something. No, I, I didn't miss it, but I didn't remember it. And that is that Ushio's birthday, they, they said, is tomorrow after the festival. So it basically shows the festival's over, it's the next day and every everything's fine, I guess. This the big conclusion you get from that which i mean makes sense because during the festival nothing bad happened right but yeah i mean super happy ending which is a bit weird i would say because you have all these limitations like i can't loop again 
cross otherwise I fall into the abyss and all that stuff and limitations and everything and sacrifices of people that died and then you just get a happy ending with everyone alive perfect right nothing bad ever happened <clears throat> which is a bit weird right that you have like all that stuff going on and then bam happy ending but like I said since episode 18 I feel like the anime really like threw out all the logic right um before you could like theorize about the anime like this could happen or that could happen and this can be and this can't be like somewhat right you you knew what was going on and you could theorize about it but from episode 18 suddenly there was so much random stuff going on that it's like i don't know what is going on anymore i don't know what is real and what is fake and what can be and what can't be and it just became like yeah i let myself be surprised with the next episode and see what's going on because suddenly he says yeah i don't have anyone i i can't loop anymore and then a few hours later bam loop when before he said oh i have so much more time left from dying from not dying now i can like at least loop multiple times not just one time and then he dies one time and just like oh i can't loop anymore all my time i just saved up is gone from one death when when moments before he said oh yeah i can loop at least more than once now and all that different stuff going on it, 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 there was just so much weird stuff going on um but yeah i mean for me that kind of dropped it a bit i would say right because like i said before you could theorize and everything you knew what was going on and then suddenly bam not anymore here comes the surprises and because of that it's the ending i would say it feels a bit weird i mean like, like i said i'm happy that it is a happy ending i like happy endings i like that nagumo is back because nagumo was definitely one of my favorite characters in the show but all the sacrifices all the limitations basically got thrown out of the window and it was kind of pointless in that regard because you just get a happy ending um so yeah would i say it's super bad now no would i say it's super amazing no i would say it's very good i would say i liked it but from episode 18 on i would say you i or at least i personally don't really watch it because i'm like i'm super intrigued of what is going on and all the mysteries and the theory crafting and all that stuff at that point it was more like okay we have a few more episodes so let's see how this all concludes <laughs> because i liked it and that's why i want to see it conclude and because i'm already so deep in but like all the intriguing interests i had before basically got thrown out of the window at, from episode 18 or 19 on so yeah but i guess that's basically it right happy ending everyone is happy i guess we can summarize that uh shimpe and ushio come together i would assume and they're happy the parents are still alive the old guy the hunter nezu or whatever is still alive and happy with his wife um ryunosuke is alive and happy he has a child and a wife and Heine is still alive as not Heine I guess as interesting eye color with the blue and green and Nagumo is writing a book obviously from the idea that Shinpei gave her and then we had the happy ending with the firework and everything and they're happy and they survived the night <laughs> so yeah I mean good anime I mean quality wise I think it was very good had good animations for the most part except like the last episode or whatever when they had the big fight with Shidi and stuff that wasn't that good but before everything was super good and story wise up to episode 18 i would say it was super good after that got a bit down and good conclusion i would say uh if you like happy endings if you would like something that is more like punishing for like all the limitations and restrictions and uh sacrifice and then suddenly you get a happy ending and you don't feel that it, that's good or realistic then maybe not so much but well i liked it overall 
So, yeah. I guess that's all I could say to this episode and to the anime, I would say. It was definitely good. I liked it. So, yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. I would say thanks for watching us next time. Bye bye.